Hello Virgos, this is your X reading for January 31st through February the 6th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Again, this is your X reading. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Let's see what your current situation is, Virgo. Strength. Hmm. I feel like you guys are trying to face your own fears, face, you know, the things that really were hard for you to deal with before. I think a lot of you are digging deep and finding strength within yourselves to kind of address some issues that um, that happened before in the past here. Leo energy there. Oh, OK. What fell out? I was picking up the deck was a star and the seven of swords. Um, so if somebody left you guys and you felt like, you know, they, they basically like hurt you very badly and, um, were self-serving, this person probably is currently in the process of healing and addressing their own issues as well. But I feel like you guys are kind of looking back to thinking that, you know, it was not my fault. You know, I cannot be responsible for what somebody else does, but, you know, I'm responsible for myself. Now, with the star being there as well, I feel like this person was placed in your path for a reason, okay? So, let's see what their current situation is. That was um, Aquarius energy there. What is their current situation? Virgo's X. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, um, I think this person really wants to come towards you energetically and apologize because they know that they've done something um, and, and they feel like they feel bad for it is what I'm getting. This person feels bad for whatever they whatever they did to you, whatever they put you through, um, but they're really not sure if you are willing at this point to accept their apology. Um, so they're kind of holding back right now, probably observing you, trying to see you know what kind of moves you're making currently. Okay, maybe on your social media, something like that. Let's see how you perceive your ex here. How you perceive your ex. And let me tell you this too, because I'm, I'm, I'm getting this. Um, I feel like this person, whatever they did, whether they lied, cheated, stole, or whether they just, you know, acted like they just did not care and they left. And it had you feeling, you know, very hurt. But let me just inform you, my Virgos, that this person is feeling the hurt right now. Because I feel like at this point they're realizing that um, there, there's nobody that they, that's going to treat them the way that you treated them is what I'm getting here, okay? So let's see how you perceive your ex. Page of Wands. I think you know that they want to um, come towards you. And I think you also know that they are leery about it because of how they did you. Maybe they have um, contacted you, but I, I feel like if they contacted you, it wasn't, um, you didn't take it seriously or the way that they came um, they, they weren't taking accountability for what they've done here. Very immature energy here. Okay. Maybe this person is younger than you, um, or does not have to be. They could just be, you know, not as mature as you are. Okay. Let's see how your ex perceives you. Hmm. This person's thinking about, for one, they think you've started over. They think that you're out dating. They think that you're entertaining, okay? But at the same time, I feel like you guys have extended um, an olive branch to them before. Like, you, you've tried to make things better. You've tried to mend things, and they didn't accept it. Even though they did you wrong, I feel like you guys still, you know, you were that bridge and you you extended that to them for them to cross it and I feel like they didn't okay let's see what your feelings are about getting back together here 
your feelings about getting back together. It could be an Aries that you guys are dealing with. Um, maybe Pisces as well, okay? Let's see. How do you feel about getting back together here? You're unsure. I think that, you know, your relationship with this person probably was very unstable. And I think right now you're really focused on the things that, you know, bring balance to your life, the things that you can actually put your hands on, the things that you can depend on. Because I, I feel like this person, you feel like, um, is not dependable. They weren't there for you. And so you're really kind of unsure about them at this point. Okay? Even though you care for them still. And I feel that. It could be a Capricorn you guys are dealing with as well. It doesn't have to be though. Okay? Let's see what their feelings are about getting back together here. Knight of Pentacles. Now they're wanting to come in and offer something, like I said. But this person's, you know, is moving very methodically, okay? They're trying to figure out um, the right approach, the right things to say. The, like, do they have enough time to devote to you and the connection? Um, they're really thinking about this. I kind of feel like you guys are this person's lifeline here right okay because it's like they thought they could do they thought they could what's the word um maybe they thought that you know there was better out there for them and they kind of took you for granted but it wasn't until they actually left or were away from you that they realized hey that Virgo is is a very significant part of my life you know I feel like you guys make this person feel good I feel like you know you, you spent a lot of time with them and you gave a lot of your time to them like to this relationship here um, but they definitely want to come in and offer something energetically but um, they're really unsure I feel like this person is definitely coming back though I feel that Taurus energy. I feel like they're definitely coming back. Um, they're just trying to figure out how. Okay. Let's see how you can increase the chances of reconciliation here. If that's what you want. Hmm. I think it's by completing whatever it is that, um, that you're doing right now. Because I do think that, you know, there is something that you're wrapping up here. If, if it's actually kind of looking at, you know, the things that you feel like you could have done better or taking responsibility for whatever actions you feel like you should take responsibility for in the downfall of the relationship, is that addressing other issues in your life that may have led you to a point to accept um, whatever nonsense you feel like you accepted from this person? I mean, it's just like this is wrapping up that cycle, completing something, accomplishing something here. Okay, whether it's becoming aware of your actions as well as you know the actions of others that are not good for you, but this is also saying that you know this could happen again because with the world you're wrapping up something and you're starting something else here. Okay, but right now, whatever you're doing here with strength then um, continue doing that, continue doing the work, and I feel like it's going to bring this relationship back around. And the, in, the energy is going to shift so that this person, um, their energy will shift as well, okay? And I, I do feel like this is, is really coming back um, around to you guys here. Let's see how they can increase their chances here. How can they increase the chances of reconciliation on their part by committing, by actually like devoting their time and energy to this connection, letting you know that some of you, there was a question of marriage here. There was a question of um, a long-term committed relationship. Um, there was a question of stability here with the Two of Pentacles. 
question of immaturity, you know. Hmm. So I feel like this is them committing to the relationship to you, um, to evolving themselves here because they're coming as a page and as a knight, okay? Studying and reacting, not really controlling, um, you know, their emotions, not really controlling their actions, um, you know, not, not the stability that you need. I feel Virgos I think this is them offering stability commitment longevity here okay so let's see what the potential outcome is for you guys potential outcome for Virgo and their ex what is the potential outcome for Virgo and their ex some of them may need to get divorced okay for those of you who are dealing with someone that was married um, I, I feel like they need to get divorced here, okay? Potential outcome. And then we have the world again coming back around. Wrapping up an old cycle, starting a new one here. Definitely a potential for you guys to reunite, but I feel like this person is going to have to be um, committed and I feel like you know on your part it's more of working on yourself and not allowing um, you know certain behaviors or people to cross certain boundaries with you okay so my Virgos that's what I have for you guys again we have um, Taurus energy here Aries Pisces I feel um, Capricorn energy Leo okay so my friends that's what I have and I will be speaking with you soon